Hello friends. So this problem is about a ring sliding on a smooth rod. So in this problem we have a ring and mass of this ring is given that is M and this ring is attached to another mass capital M through a, a string so this is the thread which passes over a pulley. So this pulley is fixed here. And then this ring can slide on a smooth vertical rod. So this is the vertical rod on which it can slide. System is initially at rest and it is released from rest. And what is happening in this case is this mass is going down and this mass is going up. So question says what is this distance that is the distance traveled by mass m when ring comes first time into rest. So let us read this problem. So this says a ring of mass m which can slide on a smooth vertical rod O O dash is attached to a block of mass m and which is greater than a small m as shown in the figure. If the system is released from rest from the state soon find the distance fallen by the ring before it comes to rest for the first time. So what are the things that is given? First is mass M, capital mass M and length A is given. So this is length A. So these things are given. And it is also given that capital mass M is greater than a small mass M. Now let us try to visualize this problem. If this mass is m that is larger, so there will be a force in the downward direction mz. Now we will think if this mass is larger than the ring mass, why the ring will go in the downward direction? This seems like this mass, it, if it has to come in the downward direction, then it has to go in the upward direction. But this mass is heavy than this mass then there is no point that ring will go in the downward direction. But basically it will go in the downward direction. The reason is what you see what are the forces that is acting on this ring. One force that is tension that will act on this ring. And vertical force that is mg will act on this ring. Now due to this mg this ring will fall in the downward direction. In fact, the resultant force of these two forces will be something like this. You can say, so resultant force is like this. You can say if this is the, so this will be the resultant force in this case. And resultant force will have one component that will go like this. Another component that is a tension, this will be balanced by the normal reaction that will be provided by the vertical rod to this ring and the vertical component is nothing but mz. So you see due to this this will fall in the downward direction. So now let us say this has fallen through some distance. Let us try to see this ring if it has fallen through some distance and now this ring is here. So this is the position of this ring. So this is the position of ring at some point of time. And let us say this is making some angle from here. So let's say this is some intermediate angle theta. Now let us try to analyze what are the forces that is acting. Tension is still acting. Mg is also acting. Now you see the component of tension you will have in the vertical direction also. This will be in this direction you will have because this angle will be theta. So this will be T cos theta and the vertical direction you will have T sin theta. So now you can see initial force in the vertical direction was only mg. But now you have a force that is mg minus T sin theta. So what will happen? Its velocity will decrease because there is a deceleration. 
so initially it will have a velocity it will gain some velocity but after some time it will start decreasing the velocity and a time will come then t sin theta is equals to mg at that point of time acceleration is zero but at that point of time this leaf or this ring has already gained some kind of velocity so this will not stop there it will further go in the downward direction and when it reaches somewhere here let us say it reaches somewhere here it will have a zero velocity because at the mean position where you have t sin theta is equals to mz it has already gained some velocity so it will not stop here it will go in the downward direction and then after certain point of time velocity will be zero and the ring will completely stop so let us try to summarize so on ring what are the forces acting initially you have mz that is in the downward direction so it will accelerate so this will accelerate accelerate and at certain point of time t sin theta minus mz is equals to zero this means t sin theta is equals to mz that will be equilibrium so that position will be equilibrium position after that time because sin theta is increasing sin theta is increasing function so if you increase theta t sin theta will increase after some time t sin theta will be greater than mz in that case you will have deacceleration so this will deaccelerate so in this case you will have deacceleration but at this point of time so here at equilibrium you have some velocity so some velocity is there so this velocity will decelerate so initially a larger velocity it will decelerate so it will decelerate decelerate and decelerate and finally what you will have you will have velocity is equals to zero now another important point when the velocity of this mass is zero that is a small m so let us say if it has reached here and then velocity is zero so let us say i can wrap this part and then i can show so this has reached here and then this velocity is zero so at this point velocity is zero let's say this angle is alpha so at this point of time velocity of this mass will also be zero because if it is not zero then this this is going further and then this will go this will go downward because the length of the string has to be constant it cannot be slacking so this means whenever this mass have zero velocity this mass will also have a zero velocity so we have given enough hint now using all this apply energy conservation and pause this video and solve the problem so let us solve this problem now so this is very easy you can solve so solution we have to find height by which this has fallen down so let us say this has fallen down by, by a height of x so this has fallen down by a height so this let us remove this so this is v is equals to zero so i am removing this part so this has fallen down by a height x so this length will be a square plus x square so how much the change in the length this means what is the length by which this block has gone up this block was initially here or you can say this block is here and after some time this block has gone here so this is the height by which this block has gone up so what is this height this height is what is the length of a string now so this length of a string now is this plus this minus this so basically you can say in this case this length is now length is a square plus x square and the initial length was 
a so this is the change in length this means by this height this block has gone up so this is the height by which this block has gone up so now you can apply energy conservation so we can write loss in potential energy is equals to gain in kinetic energy but there is no gain in kinetic energy because velocities are zero so we can write loss in potential energy is equals to zero so how much is the loss so this mass that is the small m has basically lost a mass uh, kinetic in, in, in potential energy of mgx and this mass has gone up so basically that has gained so that's why this is minus that is mg and this height is a square root a square plus x square minus a and this is equals to 0 so from here you can solve for x so mgx will be this will be mz so mg a square root of a square plus x square and then you will have minus mga so g gets cancelled so you can have mx plus ma is equals to m under root a square plus x square so if you divide or if you square both side you will have m square x square plus m square a square plus 2m m a x and this side will have m square a square plus x square so this term m square a square gets cancelled out so you can see here this term and this term will get cancelled out so what you will have you will have m square x square 2mm ax and this is this is plus basically this is plus is equals to m square x square x also get cancelled out so you can write so you can write 2mm a is equals to basically if you want to can take common also ax is equals to x square m minus m square minus m square so from here you can say x is 0 not possible because that is basically initial position so x is equals to 0 is not a solution so i can cancel x so i can write x is equals to 2m m a divided by m square minus m square so this will be the final elongation or you can say final movement of ring in the downward direction where the velocity will be zero now i have a question for you so the question is i said earlier this is the position of equilibrium where forces are zero so can you calculate this distance so how much distance it has fallen before the equilibrium position or before the forces becomes zero so let us try to do this on your own and discuss in the comment box i hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy please like this video and share with your friends thank you